Hello, this is Brad from Dick's House of Sport and a little deep dive into Roy McElroy. So congratulations on winning the uh, European Tour event this weekend. I think it sets him up pretty well for the British Open. And uh, I'll give you kind of my two picks, probably not a surprise to anybody, but we're gonna go with Rory and John Rahm here this weekend. I think John's been playing way too well not to win this year, and I think he's due. So um, let's take a look at Rory's swing here first, and I'll probably do John later in the week. So a couple things I found interesting with his setup is he sets up, that left leg is a little bit straighter. Uh, one of the things I probably learned from Luke Benoit where the interlocking is kind of using the ground and kind of pressuring the ground. So when that leg is straight and it bends in the backswing, that's kind of loading that right side. So it's a, it's a good little trick. So ripstick is a great little tool if you're looking for some speed development. It's good. Um, but as we kind of look at, even at a dress, his hips are actually quite a bit open, or probably a couple degrees more open than most tour pro professionals that address. They're actually about 13 degrees. Usually we see you know, six to 10 or so. He starts a little bit open and then coils, but you're gonna see an amazing turn here. So the hips are open about 11 degrees, shoulders are open about 15. So he's definitely kind of setting up to hit a cut. Um, and then on the way back, you can kind of see that first move is with his legs and his feet, or his feet and his legs, really, in that order. He kind of pushes away, makes a nice wide turn. So his hips have turned a little bit, shoulders have already turned almost 45 degrees by the time that club gets halfway back. Okay. So probably the biggest difference between Rory and the other tour professionals is this right here at the top, is he's got 113 degrees of shoulder turn. Average on tours right around 90, maybe 92. So he's able to really rotate. And then his hips are actually less than the tour average. It's like 41, 43 degrees open. And, but actually what I want you to watch here is what, is, what his legs do. So his left leg has bent probably about nine or 10 degrees. So it's about 25 degrees. His right leg's actually a little bit inverted, but watch, watch how he uses the ground here. There's a nice little sit, and he starts pushing with that left leg. By the time his arm gets level to the ground here, that left leg starts pushing back, okay? And by the time he gets down to the ball, that lead leg is actually inverted, or he's pushing back. So acceleration, if you pull across, you can move that club, but if you pull up, that's a lot faster, right? So that's moving that club a lot faster. So he's using the vertical forces out of the ground in order to really accelerate that club. So obviously Rory's biggest strength is his tee shot, right? If he can hit it 350 down the fairway, he's not gonna have too much more than a wedge in his hands. And he's pretty good with his wedges, so we're getting better anyways. Um, so just to finish up here, love this nice wide. Notice his head does stay kind of back over his right thigh until both arms become straight, which is about a 45 degree angle, kind of telling me he's a center post, and just rotates up and through. Right. Probably one of the more fun swings to watch uh, in golf. I'm just gonna play this one one more time from the face on view, full speed. And then one more time from the down the line and then from an above view. See how he actually does shallow that club just a little bit up on the light yellow, down on the dark yellow, and then from above. That one's always kind of interesting to me, but wide. You kind of see this Nike swoosh. You can see that a lot with long drivers. You see his hand pass pretty straight through the ball. So interested in club dynamics he is hitting that guy just a little bit kind of what i would call the sweet spot of the driver he's about a quarter inch high off the toe okay so again the, the face is rotating a little bit or the toe is moving faster than the heel so the feel sweet spot and the distance sweet spot are actually a little bit different um, one other piece that i found interesting is his shaft um, grip roll. So he's got a tremendous amount of twist. Okay. 
So like 30% more than most tour pros. But the bike are a little help with your swing or want to get in and get your swing uh, analyzed and find simple ways to make it a little better, feel free to give me a call at 952-401-4653. See you soon.